There won't be nobody to stop us, because we'll... We'll already have you dead. Dead and buried. What? Howdy, folks. Indestructicon here with another Borderlands 3 video. I'm trying to make this one super short. I just wanted to show you guys an interaction you may or may not know about. I am currently using this to try to make a speedrunning build. So I just wanted to give a little demonstration and show you what I'm doing here. So this interaction is between the Frozen Snowshoe, the Blood Letter, and the Spark Plug. Now, Frozen Snowshoe works like sliding into an enemy, drains all shields, and deals up to blah 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 whatever cryo damage. Now, for whatever reason, this interaction is how it works is the spark plug somehow counts as sliding into things. So you can use the spark plug to set off the frozen snowshoe interaction. And then the blood ladder lets you, anytime you gain health, it'll turn into shield. So this drains the shield, then gives you shield back, and so on. So let me just show you how it works here, and then we'll go a little more into this uh, kind of work in progress build I have going here. This is all still being, you know, tested. <laughs> I've known about this interaction for a while, but let's see how it actually works. You do need to have the ground slam unlocked, so let's get that out of the way. What you basically do is when you set down a spike, it's going to set off the frozen snowshoe, as you can see there. Don't worry, you will go down sometimes quite a bit with this. But the thing's going to just keep popping off. Get out of the way. It's going to keep popping your shield back up. And that's going to let you keep popping these off. And you see how quickly it can clear things. Spike. Frozen snowshoe goes off. Chain reaction happens. And you can take out pretty big mobs this way, which is why I'm trying to work it into a speedrun build. So that's basically how it works. Um, it gets very chaotic. <laughs> it gets very hard to see what you're doing sometimes. And like I said, you will go down sometimes, but this interaction will keep going. So um, you will most likely get popped back up very dangerous and a very chaotic build but also very very effective <laughs> if you guys can see there let's see here do, do, do. Oh, there we go see <laughs> all right so that's enough of that let me just get to a spot where I can show you the build I'm working on here so anyway, there you guys go. You get the idea. That was pretty quick for a first round, and I wasn't even trying that hard. So here's the build I have going. So like I said, you need a snowshoe, you need a blood letter, and you need a spark plug. Things you want to look for on these is area of effect, um, splash damage radius, things like that to make that um, explosion as big as possible. Now, this is still a work in progress, but here's what I got for the tree so far. And if you guys have any ideas how to improve this, you know I would love to hear it. So let's just start in the red tree here first. Um, I got five points in Selfless Vengeance, four points in Drowning in Brass, uh, three points, one's from a class mod in Thin Red Line, um, five points in Vladoff Ingenuity, um, I got some points in Desperate Measures here, uh, three points, I believe. Um, Failing Doctrine is an important one because each time you do this, uh, your gun damage isn't going to be that important. But the maximum shield will go up with every um, Phalanx Doctrine, um, you know, stack. And the bigger the shield, I believe the bigger damage explosion you're going to do. So nothing in green. Here's why this works so well with Moe's, and here's an important tree. Uh, Moe's purple tree has a bunch of status effect stuff. So we got three points in big surplus, 
five points in really big guns three points in explosive fury this is an important one most in iron bear gain increased status effect damage and status effect chance um, this one's not super important but it gives you more fire rate when you apply a status effect um, I got three points in here to move quicker because I do want this to be a speed run build um, three points in nitro trinidia blah 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 but whatever engines uh, two points and never going to give you up and then this one is important here superior firepower whenever mows or iron bear inflicts a status effect on an enemy they gain increased status effect damage and then i got three points in limit break just to throw bear out more i am using iron cub um, blue tree we did not take too much we got fire in the skag den five points um, five points in torque cross promotion to increase that splash damage um, radius and then just some five points in bear stainless steel bear here so that's it um, this is what I'm working with and I was getting some really good clear times on some of the trials which I may post later like you know in the two minutes I'm not a pro speedrunner or anything I just wanted to try to start putting together some speedrunning builds and you can basically take out whole mobs incredibly quick with this technique so just a quick recap you want to take all the status effect things in your purple tree and then you need the snowshoe the blood letter and the spark plug now this will work on every character you can proc this um, snowshoe explosion this ice explosion however it's not gonna keep going off and create that chain reaction because it'll drain your shield but with Moe's however with the blood letter that shield just keeps getting filled up drain filled up drain blah 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 you get it the other character I think this might work well with which I have not tested yet is flak because he has fuzzy math which fuzzy math fills up your shield with crits so if you get enough crit damage going to keep that shield filling up this uh, this technique might also work with him but anyway um, no video, no big intro or anything like that. I just wanted to show you guys this technique. Again, if you already know it, I apologize. Um, if this is new to you and you have some fun with it, please let me know if you put together some kind of cool uh, build with it. Anyway, that's it, guys. I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.